Hello and welcome to class and this is Elite Joe Special. My name is Shamaki. Today we are going to be looking at how to create NDVI maps using Erdos Imaging 2022. So we're going to go step by step. So what do you do when you launch your Erdos Imaging? Now I just launched my Erdos Imaging and uh, I'm going to take it from the very beginning. So there are many ways to bring in your data into Erdos Imaging, but the easiest and quickest way is to right click anywhere on the surface and then you're going to see your raster, your vector and your AOI area of interest and any other uh, file you intend to open, this is where to quickly get them. So we, I want to bring in the Landsat imagery which we use for the NDVI. So that says it's a raster. So you click on here or you go to file and then or you go to open anywhere. So there are so many ways we can bring in this file. So I'm just going to use this first method I have set. So I'm clicking on open raster layer. So when that's done, I'm just going to click here to the end because defaultly I have my work folder in the C drive. So uh, once I click here to the last, it will bring in the C folder. So I have my work, so I'm going to click and enter. Then I'm working on those folder. And then I have them on subset. So uh, I'm going to bring in 2024. Yes. I'm clicking on it. And I'm going to say OK. So you can see the 2024 has been loaded. So I'm going to right click and click fit to layer. Yeah, so basically, this is a subset of a Landsat 8 uh, or OLI. This is Bali local government of Taraba State, Nigeria. So I want to create an NDVI of this um, imagery of the year 2024 using Erdos 2022. So this to ArcGIS is very easy. Now on ArcGIS, you will have to bring in the band, only the bands that are involved in this equation. So you have to just bring in those two bands and use them. But on Erdos, everything has been done for you. And you're just going to. So you'll see as we go. So you're going to click on Rasta or you go to help and you search NDVI and then you click enter. Now, it's going to bring in two, let's say for one is NDVI and the other one is indices, which at the end of the day is something. So if you want to know where this is for next time, if you put your DC here, it's in raster tab and in classification groups. So if you click here, it tells you the same thing, raster tab, classification groups. All right, and then they tell you perform virus band ratio calculation on the selected image including the normalized difference in, uh, vegetation index. Same thing here. So if I now go to raster and this is classification group, we have supervised and unsupervised classification. So this is unsupervised because you are not uh, creating or generating any sample. So it will be in unsupervised. So you click the drop down button and you're going to see ND where you're going to see indices. If you click any of them, it gives you the same thing. So we're going to click on the NDVI. So now that the NDVI is out, it's loading, so it's going to load along with the 2024. Now, another way you can also bring in is to just go to the indices uh, tab and then you load the input files from there. But once you already have it in your Erdos imaging, it will load automatically. So next is to select which of the Landsat. So we're using Landsat 8. Now, once we select the Landsat, you see that as we select, it automatically changes the band. You can see band 4, band 5. But if you select Landsat 7, 
it changes one and two. If you select that for modis, if you select land side five, it also changes. So basically, you look at here when you are selecting so that you select your land side band properly. All right, so on the index, now here, the category is that all, all right? So it's for all. Now, meaning that we have uh, carbonate, general soil, mineral, vegetation, and all that. So we're interested in vegetation right now. So once we select this, it automatically going to put us only to normalize the differential uh, difference vegetation index. All right, so anything that has to do with vegetation, we have difference vegetation index, DVI. We have uh, green vegetation, normalized differential. So there are as many as possible. So because of that, we are interested in the NDVI, all right? So if we put it on all, meaning all of these things, we, all of them from the soil to everything will be on this, but we're interested in just NDVI, right? So you see that the bands are selected. Now next, we're gonna come on preview. So you click on preview to preview so you right click on then you zoom to extent so you see the preview now in the vegetative area you can see the yeah, these ones with the light and all that. So let me remove one of this tab. All right, so let's get back to what we're doing. So. If you click on the view now, you're going to see it's more like I'll say it's live update or something. Because anywhere you it's more like how the whole thing was done, like a spatial model of a spatial model, yeah. So it shows you how the way the bands and all that went through and then to the output result so you can see. So it already has this defined, unlike the ArcJ that you have to use raster calculator and all that. So this is well defined, such a way that see the output. So as you just input all of that, it has already done everything for you. So I think this is an improvement since this software is more specialized in terms of remote sensing and all that. So, well, so once you've successfully done that, the next thing you do is to output File, so you create an output file. So we're going again. Just click this to the end, and you have your my work folder, not yours anyway. So we're going to create a folder, and we're going to name it NDVI because I'm going to be doing NDVI for all of this works, but not on this video anyway. So this will be 2024 NDVI. So I'm going to click OK, and then I can now finally OK to accept all info and issues the job, all right? Click on OK. So the this will process it and then give me what I ask it to do. So it's already done. So once that is done, you click Dismiss, and you click Close. So here we have our NDVI. So thank you for watching today's video. I hope it's helpful and uh, I'll see you in the next video. But don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment on our video. For now, bye bye.